Good of you guys to do this. Thank you. Whoa, are you making martinis? Yes. Yes. All right, I'll come back for them. <laughs> Toward the end of the evening. When the camera when the camera's gone, we can have a Do you fully we can, the hey, <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? That's what I want to know. Who He's are a you? Uh, you're a student. <laughs> yeah, well guess what? Get out of here. Hey, well, good to see you. nice Thank to see you. So you. Much for inviting All right, Josh, we're glad you're here. Hey Tommy, how, how are you doing? I'm good. Oh, I'm so good. glad you're here. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad that you didn't have to get you know, um, that you didn't choose to watch the speech. Instead you chose to come That's here. That's right, exactly what I have to you know you have to uh, be careful what you say here because yes yeah well, you know, this uh, uh, this student here is uh, working for Andrew Breitbart. <laughs> <laughs> Our old pal. <laughs> so well, do you fully support the Obama agenda? Because I know I do. <laughs> for the record, let's just say I don't know we, what the whole freaking Obama agenda is. I don't know either. That would have been my question. Yeah. Seriously, if they had, if the guy had sent me. Well, what is the Obama agenda? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. What are you talking about? He, uh, he certainly didn't handle that very well. I didn't well, get a copy. Did yeah, no, he didn't. No. no. Well, the, the, the thing I don't understand is why he didn't just say, well, the guy was going in his coat for something and I was freaked out. You know? Because that would have been, you know, the, oh. the guys don't, they don't identify themselves. He's yeah. on the street. He's not at a media event. He's in the yeah. street. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, you don't have to talk to them. You can just say, hey, sorry, I'm busy or something like that and move on. Like, I have right. to say, though, I, I, uh, I have, like, lucid fantasies about, you know, one of them guys coming up to me and me just saying, just taking the camera and whipping it into the pond or something. Uh, yeah. There he is. But, I don't have a problem hey. with the ambush interviews. Ro I don't want to interrupt anything. No, right row five. Here we are, yeah, row five. Right, 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 right. He won't. He won't steal to sit in row five because he's because he never gets called I, yeah, on. But you know what? Did you see what happened to me last time, Bill? I moved up and I got I, screwed. Yeah, he did. No, you got called on. No, not, not last time. I want. I want moved to oh. Henry. Jim Clyburn's on his way up right now. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Good. You done. Thanks for coming tonight. Oh, I'm yeah. a pleasure. I, I'll yeah. take care on the way in. Here, wait, let me get uh, hold on, you got a little here. thing on your yeah, face. Sorry. Right. I want to please give a hardball. Oh, 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 you're just over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're doing, oh, you? you know Dan? Dan, Dan Henning. Yeah. We have Chris on the show tomorrow morning. Oh, promoting his news. Promoting I, I watched it. It's pretty yeah, good. It's is pretty it good? good. Yeah. It's, it's tomorrow night, isn't yeah, yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, It's nothing you don't know, but it's a really good assembly of all the, of the, of the highlights or lowlights. Yeah. Of the Tea Party movement. So of the Tea Party, right? Yeah. 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 Well, basically, the new right, which is basically the Tea Party. So you do have a DVD of it? DVD uh, or? Well, I went up and I, I watched it on set. Well, oh. in the office, and then Pat and I went on and talked about it. Pat's Pat's in the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, uh, has Pat become a tea partier? No, no, but he's like, you know, they do the history of the of the right and how they compare how the tea party movement to the, you know, the militia movement of the 90s. Yeah, yeah. And so Pat sort of is a bit of a historical bridge. <laughs> I said, I think, I said, I said, I think, Pat, you I look, think, you know, you got a lot better looking with age. Yeah. Kind of oh. soft, softer. You got a softer look. You know, you know what? They show, they show his speech for the 92 convention. You know, the one that Molly Ivan said was better in the original oh. German. Oh, <laughs> oh, that speech was scary. Yeah. That speech was. It was. Uh, I want to. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Was that the Carpaccio? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I just sound any more elitist. What's that? Thank you. Yeah, where is, is he here? Oh. Exactly. There's a man. How are you? How are you? Congratulations. See you. Thank sure. you. Yeah, sure. I want you to be, beware. I'm wearing a mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am. This, these guys, this is this man is <laughs> all around. So I just want you, don't say anything yeah. about Alvin Green that you wouldn't say <laughs> on national TV. Well, well, you know you. Vince Pambini, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Oh, Lord, oh, oh, do my I? God. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Go out over here. He's one of my favorite people. I know. You know. Oh, yeah. Very good. He's got. Can you get you guys together real quick? Oh, sure. sure. This is our producer, Dan Henning. Do you meet oh, uh, hey, yeah. right. one of our producers? One, two, three. Okay. If you know, you were. Well, it's really great having you on the show. So oh, much no. fun. You're so kind. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we I really it. enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you very you're, much. You're awesome. If I can be candid. Oh, you're so it's, kind. It's, it's a lot so of fun. I love a lot from this guy. Yeah. Oh, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. listen, I called Carol Fowler. You know, oh, you did? On the show, yeah. Because Carol's been a friend for a yeah. long time. Yeah. And Don, both. I mean, she told me the story of the guy walked in with this cash, yeah. she, as you said. She and she said, oh, my God. Oh, look who's here. Laddie. All right. Mazel tov.
<laughs> Thank you, lady. How you doing? I'm How so many? glad you're here. Thank you. How many Seriously. can I buy? We friends again? I hope so. <laughs> this guy, I'm so I am. Oh. Oh, I <laughs> well, there's a time when you were going after Bill Clinton and I was mad at you, but now I love you. Oh, I wasn't going after Bill Clinton. We all love each other. Love but you know. Toxic talk. Though. Yeah, yeah right. absolutely. And congratulations to you on uh, you know, your new law firm. I think this is so exciting. At you know, you're 64. I have, with, Two older children, six grandchildren, a 12 year old, and a five year old. He starts well, a new law firm. Uh, I hung up my own shingles as, as a new law firm. My lord. Isn't that great? Well, it's a great way to retire. <laughs> I'm going to get him to do a book on South yeah. Carolina politics. Yeah. You know, exactly right. you know Ron Goldfarb runs my uh, oh, our book oh, agent. Yeah. And a great oh, friend. Oh, yes. so yeah. saying you need to write a book about South Carolina politics. Oh, we'll be man. working on it right now. I'll tell you. It's <laughs> I want to know who this guy is. Juicier and juicier every day. Uh, Nobody yeah. knows. I want to. I want to. Re I want to read if that you, book. If you don't know, uh, uh, that that looks at a real yeah, book. nobody ever heard that. <laughs> Something fishy in Denmark. Oh Lord. But this is amazing. What? Isn't it great? Yeah. It's just fun to come here to see all these guys sitting there, you know, with their earphones on, listening to Rush and listening to Beck. You know. well, well, 20, they, 20 hours a day. They listen so we don't have to. Yeah. You know, the sad thing for those of us here in traditional journalism is this is bigger than many newspapers. Oh, you know what? You know, Boy. It's really dis disconcerting. I, I, yeah, I want to just okay. say, I, if I sneak out, it's because I want to see my family before everybody I scatters. Understand. Are you, but it's are you so kidding? Great. We all have uh, so yeah. many things that... Yeah. And, and also, Obama scheduled his speech for tonight. I want you to know, yes, I take it personally. You know that? <laughs> yes, I do want to get home and watch that. So. Yeah. Uh, did you hear? I, I didn't realize until I came in. So the new flow figures came out today. Did you hear? So it's between 50 and 60,000 barrels a day. This, this is, you know, this, you the bullshit about 5,000 yeah. that BP was putting out off by 10. Why do you think he's doing it in the Oval Office tonight? Um, well, I think, you know, it's, I think it's the biggest crisis that the administration has faced so far. And I, I think he wants to really, you know, I mean, obviously it's been used in our lifetime to talk about war. Right. And I, 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 don't think they, I don't think they mind that imagery, you know, that this is as serious as going to war and we're giving it that kind of attention. I mean, that's my take. I don't I know. about you. I they know that he has taken a big hit, and it is actually oh, yeah. Yeah. rolling the dice on this. You well, know what's amazing I learned today, courtesy of Slate? Reagan gave 33 Oval Office speeches, and Bush, uh, George well, W. gave only seven. Did he really? Yeah. But and he gave more from Oval Office. He gave more from the uh, other parts of the White House. So I, learned, I heard that this morning from Mark Noller, of course. Mark Noller, you know, at the White House, who's oh, really? the, yeah, Mark, who's the yeah. one who keeps all the numbers and the statistics. Oh, yes. Oh, that, oh he's yeah. great. Yeah. No, isn't he great? Yeah. So I on the radio this morning. I said, okay, I know you know the answer, so I know I'm not tricking you. How many? Are... And he went through. He started with Reagan, and he went all the way through. Yeah, he's too much. Well, well good luck. Yeah, it's thanks, Dave. You. Thank you for yeah. coming by. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Nice you know, C-SPAN never gets to see our... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, never, they never get to see the real team. Yes, the real radio team. Yeah, that's okay. us. Where we all have faces. Oh, they do when they simulcast. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Isn't this is great space here? Huh? Yeah. Hey, Sue. Congratulations, Toxic Talk. How you doing? You're, huh? You're so toxic. <laughs> <laughs> you're so toxic. Were you at the party Saturday? Were you? No. Oh, it was I, so much fun. I wanted to you, go. Where were you? We were at the I'm beach. Hit, we were at the we beach. Had, there were 500 people there. We had, I had a book signing over at, the, at Rehoboth Saturday night. Oh, in Rehoboth. So, yeah, and it was already oh, long scheduled. So, so I couldn't go, but I really wanted to go. Everyone uh, was yeah. asking about you. Where were you anyway? And Buchanan, where was he? He was supposed oh, to go. Oh, Pat doesn't do parties. He told me. I said, are you going? I emailed him at the Gipper, really? you know, his email. Yeah. Ira. How are you? Great to see you all the way from San Diego. Ira Leshner, Sue Bennett. Sue was my first producer at Crossfire. Back in the day. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, oh my God. All right. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Okay. Are you using those new golf clubs? Uh, once. Yeah, and I've been I played out. like crazy. I've been out once, I too. I hit the ball unbelievably. Get out of here. Unbelievable. I hate you. <laughs> but maybe in uh, I'm, late 
yeah. sometime this summer or late August. Yeah, or, but can you? I mean, I'm traveling well, until... Well, I can't do what we used to do. Yeah, no. no I know that. Okay. And I know you can't do it and We don't want to do weekends. Weekends no. is too slow. But, I'm on C-SPAN right now. So I yeah. just want to warn you. <laughs> We're good. We're good. How you doing? Oh, man. Uh, hey. You guys know each other, don't you? Sam Farr. How do you do? Congressman do you do? Sam Farr. Carmel, Monterey. You want to go to Pebble Beach and play? There's a guy. I do. Yeah, yeah.